Hey guys and gals, I'm um, going to get with you tonight. We're working on a club car DS. What we're actually doing is going to be putting in new leaf spring bushings. Here's what they look like. It's got uh, the, the little neoprene rubber piece there and the little metal tube that goes through. It's a bushing kit. Came straight from Chine. This is for the front and rear. Uh, we'll just be working on the front right now and uh, I might throw the rear in here in a little bit. So, anyways, first thing you gotta do is get the cart up in the air. And I'll show you the reason why we're doing this. So these bushings wear out. And when they do, they cause all kinds of issues with the steering. Uh, steering still stays straight for the most part, but uh, yeah, it's kind of all over the place. You hit a bump and it's popping and cracking, making all kinds of noise. So um, that's what we're going to deal with. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and zip the wheels off. Grab you a three quarter inch impact socket if you got one. Alright, anyways, we're going to grab some W40. Oh, these are pretty cool. I don't know if you've seen these yet. Easy Reach. It's got a metal straw on it instead of the plastic one. Anyways, it stays where you bend it. Pretty cool. Next, we'll grab you a 916 Simpack socket, or just regular uh, socket, or even a couple of wrenches will do. And a 916 wrench. So there's a control arm up here, and it's got the same bushing in it. And then there's just a mono leaf spring here on the bottom on these club cars. And on uh, each side of it, it has a bushing that connects to the spindle, which connects to the hub. And really, that's where our culprit is. That's what's... But I'm going to go ahead and put a new bushing in this top control arm here, too. So let's get to it, so we can get this to come apart. With ease. All right. I have to grab a... are just nylon lock nuts so no big deal not exactly the same it looks like yeah well, we're gonna need to grab that punch punch that out of there I'm actually gonna stick into the or screw that nut back on that bolt Keeps me from um, messing up the threads when I hammer that out of there. All right, guys. So uh, now we're back. Um, let's kind of recap on this here. What we're doing is we're replacing the leaf spring bushings on a Club Car DS. Uh, the bushings I've got here are for the leaf springs. Uh, part number one nine zero 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 four. These are uh, direct from China. So yeah, um, I'm also doing the bushings on the upper control arm here. Just so, just since I'm taking this apart, I'm only doing the outer ones. I do have the inner ones, but they look like they've been replaced. So not sure, but anyways, what's going on? It's the bushings gone here on the bottom. And um, yeah, it's causing all kinds of noise and whatnot. And when you hit bumps and things like that, it wants to kind of jump around. So. Um, already zipped the wheel off here. Let's get started on this. Got a uh, 9 16 impact socket here on my impact driver. Got a 9 16 wrench. Just 
get this here on the back. And that one seems loose already. I already uh, put WD-40 on it. Uh, someone's had this apart recently. Looks like uh, this is a new hub and a newer spindle. It's way newer than the other side, so. These are uh, nylon lock nuts or nylocks. Come off pretty easy. Both are the same. That doesn't matter. These are sliding right out. Look at that. So the bottom bolt's a little bit longer. Just remember that. Top bolt's a little shorter. That had some moisture in it. Then your whole spindle will slide away here. And here's our culprit. There are no bushings in here. Hmm. So they got these uh, like neoprene bushings that are supposed to go in there. Now the top has got them. Let's see if we can twist that out of there. Find the motivator here. Good old motivator. Just using a different bolt here. Not the one that goes back in, because if you mar it up, you can't really do nothing about it. Just push what's left of those bushings out. Get those doohickeys out of there. They're not so bad. Um, like I said, this has been apart fairly recently. So they've done some replacing. Why they didn't do something about those bushings in the leaf spring is beyond me. But anywho, he's a let's clean this out a little bit. It's got some junk in there. Build up. So this will work on all Club Car DS models. Uh, electric or gas doesn't really matter. Process very similar to like the presidents, the precedents or whatever. Any of those models. They all run in bushing. These nylon bushings, you can get them pretty cheap. Uh, these came from Amazon, um, but they've got them on eBay, and you can pick them up at your local carts or your cart dealer. And get that cleaned out there. Down here, do the same thing. Excuse me. Like a screwdriver, just kind of clean out any junk in there. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of WD 40 inside of here. Help me get the gasket in, plus, it'll help drive out any moisture that gets in there, or that's in there currently, really. It have some rust, so it didn't seem like it had some moisture in it. So, now. You get your bushing kit here, these neoprene bushings. I like to push the sleeve in, at least one of them, so it's flush. And I pop that in the leaf spring here. Junk hanging out of there, there we go. And then here's my other bushing. Now that bottom one is in. Nice and snug. And then the top one. Same deal. Got your sleeve. And then your neoprene bushings. Slip it into one of the bushings. Push it on the controller arm. a little bit tighter fit so motivator there we go good time too you know you can check your uh, shocks 
make sure they're moving, doing what they're supposed to do. Now I know somebody out there somewhere is hollering about me hitting these, these bushings with a hammer. Now listen, I was lightly tapping them. They'll be alright. And if you got another, you know, method, throw it in the comments. You know, maybe put a block of wood on there and, and tap it in or something like that, but. This is a quick and dirty way to get it done, just a couple of minutes, so then you want to line up your spindle again, short bolt, we're going to throw a little WD-40 on it too because it had some rust on it, just want to keep the uh, moisture out of there, get that through. That one's through. I'll throw a little bit of love on this one too. Might as well. I'll get this lined up with that leaf spring down there. There it goes. Alright, now I lock nut on this one. Nine sixteenths wrench. Nine cents nine sixteenths impact here. Not any particular torque spec. Um since they're nylocks. They're going to stay in place for the most part. Um, now the sleeve isn't long enough to be pinched in between your bracket. So typically when you have something like that, you could pinch the sleeve. And then you have your bushings that keep everything, you know, moving and bouncing around. These are not long enough to, to pinch in the, with the pinch the sleeve. So I just kind of, I mean, everything is moving nice and good. Um, I kind of watched where the threads were. For the most part when I took it off so I'm just gonna put it back together the same way um, I've done these before they always seem to work out like that and um, I haven't ever found any like torque specs uh, or anything like that on them. so anyways but uh, now that's back together and if you notice no movement whatsoever um, the cart's gonna drive better um, it's bringing you're gonna probably bring your alignment back in the spec typically that stuff doesn't change too much um, from where it was set from the factory or from the last time it was serviced. But anyways, yeah, there you go. Um, this car will be rolling right along. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and put some grease on a few areas. Um, you got some spindle grease. Um, tie rod ends are going to need greased. But um, yeah, that's about it, guys. So hopefully this helped you out. This is a Club Car DS. This is an electric 48 volt model. Uh, 2004 I believe I'd have to look but um, they're all pretty similar when it comes to that this suspension is a club car suspension um, and yeah there you go so thank you so much for watching rate comment subscribe and uh, I'll catch you next time